coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming to the classroom. Today we're taking a look at Smath by Irwin Toys. Now I'm going to come right out and say that when I first picked up Smath, I picked it up, uh, you can see here I still have the price sticker on it, I picked it up at a Talese or Value Village or something like that for, for $2. So I picked it up because it's an educational game and it's $2. I thought, worst come to worst, I could just use it for my channel. To be very honest, I mean, basically this game is Math Scrabble and I thought it was going to be terrible. So I thought I was going to have something on the channel to maybe talk about games that you shouldn't buy and games that are examples of bad games. Well, I'm happy to report that I was very wrong. Let me get to the full report card for this game. So for number of players, I'm going to give Smath a B. It plays between two to four players, which is, I think, pretty standard for a board game, so nothing exceptional. Uh, but, you know, for being four players, it could make for a, a good center in a Daily 3 program or something like that, so it, it can accommodate a comfortable group. For learning, I'm actually going to give this game an A+. And, you know, the reason I do is if you think of an A on a report card, it means that there's something exceptional there. An A+, because this game is truly exceptional. It's, um, you know, you learn so much from the math problems that you're doing, the simple equations and things that you're doing on there. But it's just the levels of the equations that you do and how you do them but also that you can so easily tailor this game. It says from ages six and up, and it really is because you could do, you could just say to the, you know, with somebody that you're playing, okay, you're going to do just simple equations, only addition, only subtraction, or only addition and subtraction. But then you can go all the way up to multiplication and division, but then you can also even, they even have brackets in here, so you could do order of operations within the thing that you're doing. So it really just you know ramps up the levels to all kinds of different age ranges that you can incorporate all kinds of different things in there. So you could have the most simple statement, like 5 is equal to 5, because that is a true number statement. But then you could also do some complex thing with involving order of operations and all four different operations of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It just... It just really amazed me on how versatile a tool it can be. So I'm happy to report that this game exceeded all my expectations, particularly in the learning area, A+. For fun, again, happy to report that I went into this with some very low expectations, but having played it with the students, they really liked it. And, you know, I found their enjoyment was contagious, and I found myself, in, you know, enjoying it despite myself. And so I'll give this a B. For time, I'm going to give the game a, a B plus because the game uh, plays probably about an hour. It doesn't. I don't see it there on, on the box anywhere. Um, length of play. You know, a lot of newer games will do that. This game was printed back in the 1970s. But um, nothing saying you can't finish this game early. I know when we played this game just yesterday, um, I played with some of my students. And I suddenly looked up and, oh, it was almost recess. So I said, okay, we have to clean it up. So we just kind of finished the round and stopped it right there. And so nothing to say you can't do that. If you have to play to a certain time, you play to the certain time, you stop at that moment, make sure everybody's had an equal number of turns, and you're done. Score it up. It's not, it doesn't have to be some kind of logical conclusion that things finish at a certain point. You just finish whenever you need to finish. So I think that's fantastic and makes the game even more versatile. Now for cost, I, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Um, this game is an older game, and it's, you know, as I said, by people, going by people's uh, reactions and things, it's not a popular game. But I think for classroom settings, this is a, actually a great game. And I would recommend this for um, all the way from primary, all the way up into, you know, junior high, maybe even high school. You know, with uh, just practicing some of those things and just having a, a fun center, something to do. And again, as I said, you can, you can adjust the difficulty levels according to the group that you're playing with. But there's just nobody out there that's carrying this game right now that I can see. I will be talking to levelup.ca and seeing if she can get the games in. Um, if so, I can maybe update. I'll put a message in the comment section below if I get uh, an update on how much the game would cost. Uh, but, you know, as I said, I found this in a value village for $2. I looked on boardgamegeek.com and I saw that there's, um, you can buy them on Amazon for 20 which I think is, you know, 
it, it'll be a newer copy than what I have. They, they've redone, they, they have a newer edition. Um, so if you feel that it's worth it, then go for that. I also saw there was one on eBay at the time of this posting for like $9. So it, you keep your eyes open. You may find a copy. If you do find a copy and it's a you know, good price, I would definitely recommend getting this. Uh, but um, also just keep your eyes out at any local toy stores and garage sales and whatever else. See if you can get your hands on a copy of this. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Hopefully, you saw something here with Smath that surprised you as much as it surprised me. And hopefully, you're able to find your own copy of this game and get it for your own classroom. Because as I said, this game exceeded all of my expectations. Not just exceeded them, but they just blew them out of the water. You know, they say don't judge a book by its cover. Well, don't judge a game by its cover either. Because sometimes... Uh, you find that there's a game that you look at, you think it looks ugly, doesn't look like it's going to be fun, and you go in with some very low expectations, and it just surprises you to no end. And that's that's math for you right here. This is a classic example. Um, if you can find this game, I'd highly recommend it. If you have any other suggestions for me of games you'd like to see on the channel, or any other ideas for topics you like might, might like me to talk about, please leave me a message in the comment section below. But until next time, I'm Craig Thompson with The Board Game Teacher saying, Thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school with me? We could have done it all.